Sonor and Steve Trecongo are in the back enjoying the music. Um, anyway, so uh, those of you who know my like original non-dementia-ish stuff, um, first of all, I'm doing an actual dementia song this year, so you guys should all be impressed that I actually found one I knew. Um, and uh, secondly, so a lot of my original stuff, you know, has to do with like religion and all my issues and this serious stuff. So I decided I should do a dementia song this year about one way to get religion. Well, when I was a kid, I'd take a trip every summer down to Mississippi to visit my granny and her antebellum world. I'd run barefooted all day long, climbing trees as free as a song. One day, I happened to catch myself a squirrel. Well, I stuffed him down in an old shoe box and I punched a couple of holes in the top and when Sunday came, I snuck him into church. I was sitting way back in the very last pew, showing him off to my good buddy Hugh, and that squirrel got loose and went totally berserk. Well, what happened next is hard to tell. Some thought it was heaven, others thought it was hell, but the fact that something was among us was plain to see. As the choir sang, I surrender all, the squirrel ran up Harv Newman's coveralls, and Harv leaped to his feet and said, something's got a hold on me. Yow! The day the squirrel went berserk in the first self-righteous church in that sleepy little town of Pascagoula. It was a fight for survival that broke out in revival. They were jumping pews and shouting hallelujah. Well, Harv hit the aisles and dancing and screaming. Some thought he had religion, others thought he had a demon. And Harv thought he had a weed eater loose in his fruit of the looms. He fell to his knees to plead and to beg, and the squirrel ran out of his bridge's leg, unobserved, to the other side of the room. All the way down to the Amen pew where sat Sister Bertha better than you, who'd been watching all the commotion with sadistic glee. Well, you should have seen the look in her eyes when that squirrel jumped her garters and crossed her thighs. She jumped to her feet and said, Lord, have mercy on me. As the squirrel made laps inside her dress, she began to cry and then to confess to sins that would make a sailor blush with shame. She told of gossip and church dissension that the thing that got the most attention was when she talked about her love life and she started naming names. The day the squirrel went berserk in the first self-righteous church in that sleepy little town of Pascagoula. It was a fight for survival that broke out in revival. They were jumping pews and shouting hallelujah. Well, seven deacons and the pastor got saved and $25,000 got raised and 50 volunteered for missions in the Congo on the spot. And even without an invitation, there were at least 500 rededications and we all got rebaptized, whether we needed it or not. Now you've heard the Bible's story, I guess, how he parted the waters for Moses to pass, so the miracles God has wrought in this old world. But the one I'll remember till my dying day is how he put that church back on the narrow way with a half-crazed Mississippi squirrel. Day the squirrel went berserk in the first self-righteous church in that sleepy little town of Pascagoula. It was a fight for survival that broke out in revival. They were jumping pews and shouting hallelujah. The day the squirrel went berserk in the first self-righteous church in that sleepy little town of Pascagoula. It was a fight for survival that broke out in revival. They were jumping pews and shouting hallelujah. Thanks a lot. Beth Kinderman, everybody! And now, the